USB devices have, are the easiest way to infect a computer and when you insert them you get a window like this. Now you can use this little program which means you don't have to go into the registry to edit it at all. Simply follow the prompts. When you get to this part run the USB vaccine automatically when the computer boots. You can hide the tray icon when it's active and you can automatically vaccinate any newly inserted key or USB drive. There's NTFS support which is beta. Leave the first one as it is, click next and just allow the program to install. It doesn't take very long, it's easy to use. Click on finish to launch it and you will be presented with this new window. Now if you vaccinate your computer it will stop CDs, DVDs, flash drives, USB drives from auto running or auto playing. And as you can see, I've got the L drive attached, it's not been vaccinated, and I will now vaccinate the computer and the USB. And this will stop the autoplay feature. You simply go into My Computer, right click the drive, and you can scan it for malware first. You know, I've previously covered the auto run in worm and how to remove it. This shows you how to stop the auto run from running. Now, in the help file, you'll find more information with command line arguments for more advanced users. For most users, simply install the program and let it run. And it's that simple. In your system tray, you'll have this little syringe icon. And when you plug in a USB device that is not vaccinated, you'll get a little pop-up prompting you to vaccinate it. So you can vaccinate it, right click it, and do a scan on it. It really is very simple to use. If you want more information, check out my blog, which is Free PC Security, and you can find it at freepcsecurity.co.uk.